Day two of the Rockland mural. So I painted the second coat of green and we've got two coats of blue. So the next stage is going to be doing a doodle grid and sketching out the design. end of day one or day two well this is like the first real day of the mural sketching up so this is day two we've got the outline on if I take you on a tour of the wall we've got the Viking ship we've got a duck we've got a red kite butterfly swan baby swans we've got a horse a working horse a farm horse the rockler pipes then we've got a squirrel we're gonna have a multicolored tree representing multiculture we've got family here of cyclists cycling off into the into the play area we've got a robin robin down there got the dragon from the uh, red red house estate play area we've got a frog and a hedgehog swallow and the estate so there's lots to color in
end of day three. We've got quite a lot going on. We've got the Viking ship, the duck in there, the butterfly, the red kite and the swan. Day five today, managed to get the rockler pipes on the wall, the squirrel, the robin, and the multicolored tree. So it'll be finished tomorrow, Friday, day six, we'll get this completed, and then we'll give it a coat of anti-vandal clear coat. So end of day six, we got all the way up to here, got the cyclists in, the swallow, the frog and the hedgehog in the corner. I've just left that corner of the estate there in the dragon's face for Tuesday next week because the BBC are going to come down and do some filming and it's going to go on uh, BBC Look East so they'll be, I'll be on the news so yeah, Dirty Dems getting on the news. Demographics doing my thing. And now he started off as a street graffiti artist, but now he's more into murals, massive ones. Mark Tanti's latest took six days to complete. It's in Milton Keynes and Theo Chicomba. Went to take a look. This is the latest addition in the Red House Park community in Milton Keynes, an installation showing where they started to where they are now. For a spray painter with 20 years in the field, this was an admissible challenge. So the actual whole piece tells the story, uh, like a timeline. So we start off with the Viking boat, which symbolises the first people to come to this area of Milton Keynes. 
then we in the middle section there is like a horse representing uh, the early settlers farmland and that sort of thing then we have the industrial era with rockler pipes and rockler pipes then went on to build this estate so from left to right it tells like a timeline story all right so what you want to do and today mark has been leading a workshop with youngsters from the community giving them a tip or two on how to spray paint beyond this section take a look at this it's been carved by an artist making it part of the community's furniture all of which has been organized by a local art group it's nice to be able to offer something to people and some of the projects that have been put together for the Rockler Art Trail have involved the community in workshops, but it's also involved the community in identifying the sort of art that they wanted to see. And the art is always here, so anytime they can come out and look at it. And we get visiting groups, people coming out on walks or you know, guides or scouts, and we do guided tours as well. With the final touches going on, there were some people who weren't sure how it would look. The residents here were a bit like unsure of how it would turn out, but now they really appreciate it and are happy with it. But they didn't understand my method of working because I use a grid system. So they were a bit concerned when they saw the initial sketch on the wall, but now it's all in full colour. They really appreciate it. With this project almost complete, there are plans for more installations across the estate to engage more artists and community members. The H Combo Beepsley Keys, Milton Keynes. That hedgehog getting a big thumbs up from colleagues in the office here. Uh, not the bank holiday weather we were all hoping for, but what's in it? <laughs>